Hi everyone and welcome back. DIY candy kit videos were incredibly popular on YouTube 10 years ago, but they've somehow fallen off the radar. However, I recently spotted these Sumiko Garashi ones on Amazon Japan and really wanted to take a closer look. These cost $11 for a set of 8, which is absolutely amazing value. These let you make little jelly versions of Sumiko Garashi characters. This polar bear is called Shirokuma, and according to Wikipedia, he ran away from the Arctic Circle because he doesn't like the cold. However, he does like drinking hot tea in the corner, he likes to draw, and he loves to bathe in hot springs. He sounds a lot like me, to be honest. Each kit comes with a clear plastic mold of the character that you simply tear apart and snap into place. Then you fill this with water to get the exact amount needed for the jelly. I find this step extremely clever because it spares you from having to use a separate measuring cup or spoon and the mold is so well made that nothing leaks out. The next step is to place the jelly powder into a glass and add the water on top. I made a small mistake and used room temperature water instead of hot water which was recommended in the instructions. This makes it harder to mix the powder and it ended up with quite a lot of clumps. It took a bit of work, but I finally managed to get everything into a smooth mixture. Then you just need to pour this into the mold and leave it to set. There's something super satisfying about the fact that you get exactly enough water and powder to fill the mold up perfectly. So this kit is virtually foolproof because you can't add too much of anything by accident. In the meantime, I'm going to make another one. It's worth mentioning that these are not actually popping cooking kits, which is the brand name of products from the company Crazy. These kits are from a different manufacturer, so they're noticeably less detailed than a typical popping cooking set. However, I really have no complaints, considering the price and the fact that these work perfectly. The jelly hardens within half an hour without the need for refrigeration. Then you can simply plop them out like this. The mold is reusable, so you can fill it up with your own jello or pudding mixture. The final characters are really cute, and unfortunately the camera is not picking up the facial features. They're much more noticeable in real life, and they look exactly like the Sumiko Garashi characters. I'm not sure what kind of powder is in here, but I'm guessing agar because that sets at room temperature. Gelatin needs refrigeration, and it tends to melt more easily. These gummies held their shape very well and have a nice jiggly texture. The only drawback is that they don't taste very nice. All of these are soda flavored, which is usually a combination of lemon, lime and bubblegum. However, it tastes very synthetic, which I guess is not surprising considering that you made this yourself by adding water to a mystery powder. So the taste really wasn't my thing, but I do love how aesthetic these are to make. I tried doing another kit on a different background to see if that makes a difference in how the camera can pick up the facial features. Unfortunately, it wasn't that noticeable either, but you have to trust me that the real thing is a lot cuter. This time, I also used warm water, and that made a huge difference on how easily the powder dissolved. Each kit also comes with a small cardboard corner where the character can sit. When compared to popping cooking kits, these ones feel a bit basic, but I love the attention to detail given to the few items inside. I wasn't able to find out more about the company that makes these, so I'm not sure if there are other products as well. But on the whole, it was great to try these out, because I always have a nostalgic soft spot for candy kits. I hope you enjoyed this DIY and be sure to check out my other videos featuring rare products from Amazon Japan. I'm Joanna, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!